Hello, you guys. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Ella Page. I'm a real estate agent here in St. John's, Florida. And if you are thinking of moving to St. John's or St. Augustine, Florida, you will want to stay tuned for this video because I'm going to give you all of the information on the community of Shearwater. So first, let's talk about this beautiful amenity center behind me. So Shearwater has some of the best amenities here in St. John's, Florida. As you can see, there is a resort style pool, a water slide, and what you can maybe see in the very back corner over there, there is a lazy river, which is one of the few communities in this area that offers this. So they have wonderful amenities. And the really cool thing that I think stands out about Shearwater is how homey that it feels. As I show you around throughout this video, you will see that it has a very naturey and homey feel to it compared to a lot of the new construction communities in this area. Most newer communities here are going to have a more coastal feel with more palm trees versus pine trees. I know we're by the pool, so there are a lot of palm trees right here, but you will see as we drive through the community how beautiful it truly is. So aside from this pool behind me, they also have a great fitness center with many treadmills and machines, a weight area, and they also have a lot of exercise classes to choose from. They also have a lap pool over here if you like to swim for exercise or just for swim team practices for kids. And then they also have a really awesome playground and a great field that a lot of kids use for sports and they also use for events. I've seen them set up for Christmas events. They do an Easter egg hunt on this lawn. So there is a lot of space that can be utilized as a resident here. And speaking of events, that is one of the things that stands out about Shearwater is they have a ton of events for residents that are both put on by the HOA, but also that residents put on themselves. So as a resident, you have the opportunity to host your own events that are private or for the whole community. You simply go on the resident portal and see the open calendar and just book your event through their site. Alrighty, now let's chat about what homes that Shearwater has to offer and what home may work for you. So one of the amazing things about Shearwater is it has a wide range of homes that could work for nearly everyone. So starting with their townhome options, they actually have many townhomes in this community. There are two different types of townhomes. Some of them are front load townhomes where the garage is in the front of the home, both one car and two car garages as well as rear entry townhomes where the garage is in the back and you have a cute little front porch off of the street. So generally speaking, these townhomes start in the low to mid 300s, which typically is great for young families, young professionals, or just first time home buyers in general. Then there are many single family homes that range from the mid 400s to the upper sevens that are both front entry and rear entry homes. So I do want to point out that the thing about rear entry homes where the garage is in the back of the house is that you don't have a big backyard with those types of homes because of course the garage is taking up most of the yard. So typically with those homes you have a side yard versus when you have a front entry home then you are able to have a bigger backyard depending on what lot that house is situated on. And then the last section of this neighborhood that can serve a lot of people too is a gated section of Shearwater that has some higher end and larger floor plan homes. Those homes start in the 800s and go up to a million plus. So if you are looking to expand or to upsize or to have higher quality upgrades in your home, then that is a section that is wonderful for people to consider. And the last options for homes here in Shearwater is new construction. Now, this community is nearing the end of construction, but there are still a couple options to choose from at this time. 
So there is a section that is being built by David Weekly with both front and rear entry garages. Another section of Lennar townhomes of front entry townhomes where the garage is in the front. And another section built by Ryan Homes with homes starting in the low 400s. And then last but not least is DreamFinders is rounding out their inventory homes that are for sale, which are single family homes with front entry garages. So as I mentioned, there are many options, whether you are looking to purchase your first home or you are looking to purchase your forever home, there is maybe something here for you. So I've talked a lot of good about this neighborhood, but let me give you a couple of things that in my opinion are not my favorite about this community. So two things really come to mind for me. The first one being that, like I mentioned before, this community is located off of County Road 210. And on this section of County Road 210, they are currently expanding the road from two to four lanes, I believe, maybe six. I'll get back to you on that. But there is a lot of construction at the front of the neighborhood, which of course can cause traffic, lane closures, and not everyone loves to be around major construction like that. However, of course, within a year or two time, that problem will be solved and I'm sure it will be very seamless with traffic. But for right now, that I would consider a con. And the second thing that comes to mind is this community is very deep in terms of looking at it on a map. So right now there is only one entrance, which as I mentioned, is the entrance onto County Road 210. And eventually when they're done with construction, there will be a back entrance that pops out onto State Road 16A, which will be wonderful. But for the meantime, if you choose a home, which all the new construction homes that I mentioned are in the back of the neighborhood, if you choose a home in the south part of the neighborhood, then it can take a good seven, eight minutes to get to the front of the neighborhood. So in terms of time to travel places from the front of the neighborhood, you're close to a lot of things. But if you live in the back of the neighborhood, you could add on another solid eight minutes to any trip that you take. So those are just some things to consider. Both of those problems will be taken care of in the next couple years once this construction in the community and outside the community has rounded out. But for now, those are two things that come to mind that maybe not everyone would love. Alrighty, now I am here at their other part of their community center called the Outpost. So this is a covered and screened in facility that residents can use for events as well as there is another playground over here with a zip line. Not going to feature a video of that just because there are many kids playing on it as well as this is where you would access the kayak launch. So there is a trail that goes down to Trout Creek and you can take your kayaks and your paddle boards and it will go all the way out to the St. Johns River. Just a couple more key things I want to mention about this community is this is a golf cart friendly community and a lot of people use golf carts as their mode of transportation within the community. There is also a K through eight school that is being built at the south end of the community that is supposed to be opening in the fall of 2024. So for those of you with kids in those grades, it would be very beneficial to be in this community as their school will be within Shearwater. And last but not least is they are also building a fire station at the south end of this community, which is just good information to know that there is going to be one very close by in the need of an emergency. Alrighty, you guys, that wraps it up for today's video on Shearwater. If you have any questions on this community, homes available in Shearwater, whether it be resale or new construction, or just in general about moving to St. John's, Florida, then please feel free to reach out to me. I am here to be a resource for you. So I will put my contact information on the screen. Again, feel free to reach out. And as always, thank you so much for watching. I will see you in my next video. Bye.